After the Clippers emerged from last month's trade deadline with one traditional point guard left on their roster, coach Teron Lu, who played the position himself, often pointed out his dearth of ball handling options. In recent weeks, however, such asides have largely disappeared from his comments before and after games. It's not because the position has been bolstered. It's because the Clippers have grown used to a short-term plan the franchise believes is in its long-term interest too. Once Euron Dragic chose to sign with Brooklyn, and with no clear upgrade on the buyout market and no urge to take an extended look at a younger guard, the Clippers have deemed their best option lies in putting the ball in the hands of wings such as Terrence Mann and Amir Coffey. At no point since the February 10th deadline was that decision more obvious than Monday night in Cleveland, when during a 120-111 overtime loss, Mann and Coffey were among the rotating cast of ball handlers left to pilot the offense with point guard Reggie Jackson earning a night off. With forward Marcus Morris Sr. resting as well, and no longer an obvious destination for each play to end, the ball skipped around for 29 assists, the Clippers most in 6 games, and just 11 turnovers. In 44 minutes, Mann finished with 4 assists and 0 turnovers and pushed the Clippers' pace even while missing his first 8 shots. Coffey had 2 assists and 0 turnovers in 39 minutes despite facing pressure. Lou's overarching goal in the regular season's final three weeks is to prepare his team for the play-in tournament, given the Clippers are seemingly bound to finish eighth in the Western Conference. For older contributors with heavier workloads, that might mean more rest. For the others, it will mean more reps, and the prevailing thought guiding the team's post-deadline roster construction is that there is more value for the Clippers, both this season and next, to develop wings such as Mann and Coffee whose skill sets have broadened enough to initiate Lou's offense.